Today we will be seeing more about multiple CPU computers and its functionality. Usually a multiple CPU computer uses a shared memory. An address which is same in multiple CPU system refers to the same location in the shared memory. They can be built using commodity CPUs and serves multiple users. Fundamentally, the multiple processors can be of two types. They can be centrally managed or can work in a distributed environment. We will start with a centralized multiprocessor concept. It's a straightforward extension of a unique processor system. The CPUs are connected through a bus and share a common memory. This architecture is also called uniform memory access multiprocessor or a symmetric multiprocessor. It is called the uniform memory access or UMA because the access time of memory from every processor is the same. The presence of the cache memory also reduces the load of the bus and the shared memory. Now, data can be private or shared. If the data can be accessed by only a processor, then it is called a private data. And if it is shared among the processors, it is called shared data. In a centralized system, they communicate through shared data. When a data is shared, naturally some issues arise when they are shared. Cache coherence problem is one such issue. When a shared data variable is accessed by many processors to avoid contention, we replicate the value of the variable and give it to the requested processor. Though it reduces the traffic, how the system will ensure that the value of original variable is changed and is reflected in the copy residing in it? This is the basis of a cache coherence problem. In this diagram, you can see a shared variable x residing in the shared memory. So when a processor tries to read the memory, there is no issue as the value does not change in the read operation. But when some processor wants to write on the variable, you can see that an older copy of X resides with A. When B tries to change the variable to 2, A still retains the obsolete value of X. This is what cache coherence problem is. Now as a solution, we will see what is a write invalidate protocol is. When some processor wants to write on a shared variable, all the copies of the variable are declared invalid. For this, a cache control monitor snoops the bus to see which cache block is actually requesting a variable by all other processors. Now, there will be a cache miss if somebody tries to access it now. By the time the variable can be written by the processor who intended to write it. So, a write invalidate protocol is a solution to the cache coherency in centralized multiprocessors. Each CPU snoops the bus if some other has requested for a write request. A processor element has to gain full control of the variable before writing the variable. For that, it invalidates all other copies of the same variable from other cache blocks. When a processor element is given full access for write, other PEs get a cache miss if it tries to access it and it has to obtain the variable only after refreshing its value from the shared memory. So what if Two processor wants to write on the same variable. One of them wins the race. The race cache of the one who loses is invalidated. Various kinds of synchronization is needed by the processors to work in a centralized system. Mutual exclusion is that at most one processor can engage in a specified activity at a time. This is a concept you all must have learned in operating system. Barrier synchronization guarantees that no processor 
no processor will continue beyond a process or beyond a barrier point until every processor has reached up to the barrier it is like a relay competition where an athlete waits for all the competitors to reach the lap finish to start the next lap so thank you and we will be continuing the concept of multiprocessors in the next video